Hey everyone! So that's the trailer of my new book and um, it's a tale about divine time and how divine time transpires in our earthly lives. So every time a Torah reader will say, you'll get what you want in divine timing and you wonder what does that really mean, yeah? So if you're interested to know more, if you're interested to read this book, um, get a copy and it is now available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. The link to Amazon is in the description box below, okay? And don't forget to check out the link and as well as share it with your friends, okay? Uh, for more uh, book launch updates, you can follow me in Instagram at Nomad Soul Warrior, as well as my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. Okay? Uh, don't forget to get a copy after this reading and let me know your feedback on Amazon reviews too. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's start your reading. Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your Love Connections. In this reading, we will be talking about their current feelings towards you. So basically, you already have a person in mind, right? Or that you are connecting with someone, you are in love with someone, you are thinking about someone. For those of you who are single, not in any way connected to anybody, and you're wanting to know who's coming towards you, uh, you can check out my reading every Monday, which is the Gypsy Monday Night Tarot. So for this week, the topic of that reading is more about who's coming towards you. And that will be for all signs, Aries to Pisces, and they are time stamps. So you can, you can watch those easily. All right? You can check that out in my, my uh, channel. All right, Leo, let's get on with your reading. Their current feelings towards you current feelings towards you. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love. The Hangman. It's three of Swords. Mm. Justice. The Queen of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Six of Swords. The King of Cups. Six of Cups. The Emperor, Judgment, this is a new spread so I'm trying this out and I w it's a free, free flow reading. I'll be drawing more cards when I feel like it, yeah, or when I feel I have to. Uh, what is this? The Hierophant, the Nine of Wands, what happened here? The Fool. The Page of Wands, the pa uh, Two of Wands, oh wow, what is this then? The Page of Swords, all pages. At the bottom of the deck we have the Chariot. You know what, um, Leo, I'm getting that no one can stop you now. Whatever your decision, whatever you are thinking of doing, I feel like you've made a decision to either to go, to do things your way, yeah. but you've made a decision here pretty clear. For some of you, this is you kind of leaving a situation already. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're wanting to start fresh. Now, your person, their current feelings towards you, this is someone who is still um, invested in a situation with you. Somebody who is um, 
who still wants to carry on yeah a very um I, I feel a vibe of i feel their vibe of um very caring um compassionate type of person can even be regardless of the gender this person can be a very soft spoken kind of person yeah but this is someone who somehow knows that their connection with you is um has has a certain value yeah at least for them too right it's not just for you but at least for this person they kind of um holding on to this connection because this is of value to them right this is a value to them and a value in the sense that perhaps you both do have similar uh let's just say passion in life you probably both work in in the bit in the same business together you know so you have you have that for some of you you could even be sharing the same um, or working in the same business together so but it's very i'm getting that as of the moment your dealings with them are probably transactional it's more about what can be done to earn more it's more about the tangible things in life yeah in terms of feelings though i could see that this person would find themselves looking in the mirror every now and then and thinking how do they truly feel about you and do they feel enough to pursue this connection yeah sometimes you could or perhaps even now you can sense that this person may be stepping back for a while they're not really engaging actively yeah primarily because they want to do things with you they want to be in business with you they want to be related to you in terms of that transactional need but in terms of how they feel they're still kind of um evaluating it they feel something for you yes but is it strong enough to is it strong enough to push them through and i feel that you know that i feel that you know that and that's the reason why in the beginning of this reading i can sense that you already made some sort of decision yeah whether are you going to be whether you're going to be continuing this dealings with them given that fact or or given that type of energy that they're giving back to you or you can leave or you have decided to leave so the decision is on you the decision is and i feel that you've made that decision already it's more about are you going to execute it now because you're ready to do that the decision is um ready it's just a matter of when will you carry it out yeah um i see that with this person there could have been a lot of conflicts or drama that both of you have tried to encounter in the past or tried to deal with in the past and you could even be fighting arguing harsh words yeah and it feels like for some of you recent time um you may have had an argument with this person that really put you off or really has put them off yeah and thus you know somebody here has retracted their energy from this connection and sort of like not really engaging yeah also not really moving on <laughs> it's just somebody who is just staying still and not and i feel that this is them they have retracted their energy and they're just staying still they're also not waiting by the way it's just that it's just a, a retraction that's what i feel now i see that um i see that this person will continue to check on you especially if you're not together this person will continue to be mindful of what you're doing whether it be social media or maybe through friends in ways that they can check on you they will continue to do that um they still know somehow this person feels like the value that they can get from this connection with you is really big look at that 
what else can be bigger than that? Yeah, this person knows. The only thing is, um, you know, it's mostly I see right now is mostly transactional. The value that the connection can that they can get from it. Yeah, but I feel like in any connection you would want to be more emotionally involved, right? You want you want to be more um, intimate. Yeah, a relationship that is a whole package. On this part, I feel that one aspect of it can be thriving. They see a good value in it. The other side would be, what can they give emotionally to make you feel like you are in relationship with them, right? Or to make this relationship really work for both parties. Yeah. And I think, Leo, you already know that. You know, I think this is like a confirmation because the way I see it here is... Um, you kind of know that and if you're like you've made a decision to turn your back for now I think you're good you can carry on with your life you can actually take care of yourself you can st there's still a lot of people who are supporting you you are surrounded with supporters with um, friends with family who are also very supportive of what you want to achieve in life I feel like in terms of status you're good you got the Emperor this is your energy I feel here in this reading. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing I'm seeing too is that this person is kind of afraid that they will be judged based on the decisions that they made or they will be judged based on their action. So, if you have cut them off, they're actually afraid that you're cutting them off forever. Yeah. But mind you, this person wishes that whatever they've done, they will be forgiven. It may not be today. But what I feel like, whatever they've done, they will be forgiven and that they want to um, be able to learn from those mistakes that they've done and they want to show you that they're able to make a you know to correct whatever they've done yeah for some of you since you have already like cut things off here or you have detached from this person once you've made a decision they're kind of afraid that you are now going to go into some form of other commitment and then you will totally forget them that's what i'm getting now um, so far for now, like I said, this person may have pulled away and um, just stand still. <laughs> They're not really doing much in terms of progressing or even, I can't even say they are passively or actively thinking about this. It's just them taking a break. Yeah. And I feel that moving, moving forward, if they continue to do that, they're going to be hurt. Yeah, and they're going to make, they will be forced to make a, a decision here. Primarily because for you, you are pretty much strong in terms of making your own decision and carrying it out. Yeah, so a person who is dealing with you and is very indecisive, they've met their match. Yeah, because with you, indecisive is not, is not the, um, the ultimate goal here. Yeah, and that's what I see for you. Leo, and I hope this gives you insights. Let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And for those of you who haven't um, checked out my book, I check out this book in Amazon. This is Divine Time. Um, it's a mystical tale that talks about what divine timing really means if you listen to tarot readers saying that you'll get your wishes come true in divine time. What does that mean and when? You know, so... If you want to know more about it, I wrote a book and it's um, it's a tale. So it's a story, a mini novel that you will possibly, or I'm sure you will like it. Yeah. So if you haven't yet, get a copy of the book. Um, it's now available in Amazon, both in paperback and Kindle versions. Uh, the link will be in the description box below. Or you can also um, go to Amazon and check my name, Nomad Soul Warrior, and you will be able to find this book quickly. All right. I hope each one of you will be getting a book. Yeah. Um, 
as your means of you know supporting me additionally thank you so much and i truly appreciate you all bye now